Hey, this is Greslin, and we are here. We're going to do a little bit of testing today. This is for PA MPC 2.02, .02, and I believe today is February the 2nd, 2022. And I want to talk about, well, y'all wanted to see some more test videos. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I'd do it. Uh, we're, this release is all about suppression tactics and missiles, uh, primarily missiles. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of explain things and then we're going to head over to the testing ground and blow some stuff up. Now, I never really talked about how I do test, so we're going to start with that. This is a Bethesda cell. This was something that they use. Uh, it's not actually attached to the game itself. Uh, I believe they use this to test the companion code. Uh, I've used it to test companion code as well for pace. Uh, it's also a nice little spot just to spawn some things in and whenever I do testing I my, the save that I use to jump into testing starts me here because it has it has no, it has no other mods attached I know there's not an old copy of PA and PC in there it's just this is where I jump in so what we're gonna do we're going to start with this little test script. Uh, all the scripts that I'm using in this video you can find on the Greslin Games Discord uh, in the Pack Attack channel. Just hit the, go in there, hit the pinned comments, you can find them all there. I think with the exception of the Missile Crew batch file that I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to post that. I'll post that after I do this video. But everything else you should be able to find there. Starting with this little handy thing, it's bat test setup. And what that does is it makes me friends with everybody. It completely opts me out of all combat so I can just watch what happens. Uh, puts me in god mode. Uh, basically nobody's going to attack me, but it's also not going to affect any of the faction balances between anybody else. So I always run that first before jumping into these kind of tests. Uh, this, most of the tests that I do, what the way I handle it is I once once I think I've got a new, a new improvement on the AI tweaks, I will set up 5x5 five five war games, uh, and what I will do is I will put opposing sides using, diff using different tactic sets usually, uh, gunners versus raiders, raiders versus synths, synths versus super meals, whatever. And I will just put them out there and let them start shooting each other. And I start watching very carefully, and I see if one side showing a clear advantage, and if they are. I start looking at how to counter that tactic set with one of the other tactic sets, and then they're going to end up with an advantage, and that's going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and that is pretty much how PA MPC, the AI, has been developed since the very beginning, is by basically setting other AIs on to each other and letting them fight it out and to see which ones actually prove useful. and so I'm still doing it. So what we're adding today is we're adding missile crews. Uh, the, this is for the missile launcher. Up to this point, missiles were considered heavy weapons, uh, it's somewhere, somewhere on par with a flamer or a minigun, um, which were in turn generally considered things like suppression weapons. Uh, suppression weapons in PA and PC mean that someone who's got a suppression weapon is going to go out into about midfield. Not, cl not close range, not far range, but they're going to go out there into the open and they're just going to start blasting. And the idea is they're going to they just want to create mayhem so that your snipers can get into position and start picking off things from a distance. Your shotgunners can start angling in for closer, close range assaults. That's the role that's, that suppressions play in PA and PC. Up to this point, suppressions could all, the only the only weapons that were suppression weapons really were mini guns and Gatling lasers. With 2.02, .02, that's going to include um, it's going to include flamers. Flamers are going to be officially considered suppression weapons. And what else is going to happen is if you've got let's say let's say you're let's say you're on a team. You got you're a raider. You're on a team of we're going to say five people. If if no more than if you don't have if no more than 25% of your team happens to be using a, a, a suppression weapon, if you don't have mini guns, you know, if you don't have flamers, whatever, 
if you if you don't have more if you don't have at least 25 percent of your team operating in a suppression role what will happen now is your allied riflemen and your assault riflemen will be able to opt into taking on that suppression role up to the 25 percent mark uh, any other riflemen beyond the 25% mark will just be using normal rifle tactics. But rifles up to that 25% mark of your team uh, will now be operating in the suppression role. If if that team does not already have a suppression weapon, like a mini a guaranteed suppression weapon, like a minigun or a flamer. I hope that makes sense, but that's new. So that came as a suggestion from uh, the good people at the Grazian Games Discord, and it's all about keeping the fans happy. It was a good idea. We're going to roll with it, and it's actually worked out very nicely. The other thing we're doing in this in in this version is missile crews. Um, missiles have not did not get their their own tactics up until now. Uh, it's just is a long time coming. I can never really figure out how best to do missiles um, other than seek elevation and rain hell from above, which is what we've been doing. Uh, but what will happen now is in a combat situation, in a combat role, the missile men will sort of act like snipers. They will try to pull back from a distance, and so they will not they, they will not do suppression. They will get back and they will just start firing at the other side of the field, and for, usually from cover and from distance. So they're going to be very dangerous now. The the other thing is that the other thing that's going to be unique about missile men now, as of 2.02, is that unlike every other tactic set, unlike every other NPC, they do not prioritize the closest targets. If they've got a miss, if they're on a missile crew, if they're if they're looking for somebody to shoot with the missile launcher, they're not shooting for the for the closest target. They're shooting for the biggest target. So they are going to be well, everyone else is dealing with their own you know, area of engagement, that your missile your missile guys are going to be looking for that big dude at the far end of the field who's collecting his own little cult of personality, uh, drawing the weaker people toward him, and they're going to be trying to take that guy out. So what you're going to have, have often is you're going to have the missileers, the rocketeers, on the far either far side of the combat zone, shooting rockets across and just complete chaos in between. So you're welcome. That's missile tactics. That's happening in 2.02. Now we're going to test it, and we're going to see if any of that stuff worked. We just set the batch file. We are now in God mode and everybody's everybody's friend mode. I'm going to flip on over to my favorite little testing zone, which is the Vault 111 exterior. One moment while we load. Uh, let's see, oh, surgery. Yeah, I'm still working on insult to injury. I, I'm doing an update, but I've not gotten that done yet. I've gotten obviously distracted back on PA and PC again. Okay, let's, first of all, let's... Okay, let's try doing that correctly now. I'm going to set for 8 a.m. so that we don't... Did I do that right? Did I do that right? Game time? Or is it set game hour? It's game it's it's set game hour. There we go, eight AM. I just want to make sure it doesn't get dark before we finish this. Okay, welcome to Vault to one eleven. You guys all know what this place is about. There's an institute bird. Spoiler alert. And what we're going to do is I'm going to set up I'm gonna set up a crew over here. Let's, I'm going to put a team of five legendary raiders. They're going to be mostly, they're going to have, uh, mostly they're going to be rifles. So you're going to see, some, you're going to see a little bit of suppression going on with them. I'm going to set up, a, set up a gunner missile crew over here. It's going to be four standard gunners and one missile missile launcher. And oh, they're going to get some weather, which is 
not bad because the Florida in me likes thunderstorms, but the California in me doesn't get them very often, so I don't mind some weather. And I'm going to put the gunner crew here, and we're going to see what happens. The thing about PA NPC, and I designed this intentionally, is that all the NPCs make their decisions based on feedback they're getting from other NPCs. So you're going to get a lot, you get a lot of emergent effects. You get a lot of unexpected stories and conditions and situations. And the truth of the matter is I built the thing and I cannot predict what, what they're going to do. Uh, they will sometimes make bad decisions. They will sometimes make brilliant decisions. But that's, that's how this rolls. This, uh, a combat session in the PA and PC will never happen the same way twice. So I am probably going to be as surprised as you. So let's throw a missile crew down. Four, 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 gunner, four normal gunners, one gunner missile man. And now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. Wait for somebody to start ambushing, start noticing the other side. The only question is who. The weapon out behavior you're seeing down there, uh, that's the auto alert. Uh, the auto alert as of 2.01 is now optional. You can turn that off. Uh, I like it, but it confuses people who are used to the vanilla HUD if you want more vanilla behavior. Okay. Now, I thought for a second the gunners are going to make friends, but false alarm. Sooner or later, somebody is going to roll the dice. RNG Jesus is going to roll the dice just right, and one of these guys or one of those guys is going to go investigate this activity that's happening on the other end of the field, and when that happens, all the shooting is going to start. Come on, guys. Sometime now would be nice. I think they're just outside of each other's normal scan ranges. So we're, by doing it like this, I'm relying on somebody going into ambush, which doubles up their scan range for looking for targets. Oh, the missile man's going on. What are you doing? No, you're going to get killed. Don't do that. This is what a missile man is not supposed to be doing. Who's there? Okay, I'm going to need to fix that because missile men should not be ambushing. Although that was pretty effective. Okay, just for the record, by the time I ship 2.02, that is not going to happen. They should not be tr attempting an ambush with a missile launcher. What are you doing? that our gunners are getting them mop forward with they're getting them just just getting floored here okay I'm gonna try one more batch of I don't know why that what that missile missile man was thinking but I'm gonna try this again who
but that's more like what the missiles should be doing. Evading, getting some cover, rain death. Throwing some more raiders over here. I don't know what it would have really be fair because they're all marching over here. So let's instead let's put our missile, our raider team over here. Missiles are going to mess you up. Yep, Avon calling. That was a missile. Well, that's what's going to happen. They're going to shove a missile up your ass. Okay, so we have what? How many survivors? I think we just have one raider survivor over here. Let's do one more missile test. And then we'll throw our raiders at each other. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw, let's another batch of raiders. We'll put some gunners here in Louisville. Louisville detect a little quicker this time. Hey, you guys all good? You guys working it out? Yeah, go ambush somebody. There you go. Good boy. It's like, what's going on there? Raiders actually win that battle? Yeah, looks like they did. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, we've got how many, I don't know, two or three Raiders maybe? Maybe? We've got one up there. Things are blowing up. I'm... I've only seen the one guy, that one raider up there, but I think there's at least one other walking around here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So let's make it a little more interesting. We're gonna throw, we're gonna put some more legendary raiders down there, and let's. Super Mutants got, got all this code as well, so they're going to be using missiles and suppressions just like the base AI will. Yeah, the new suppression and the uh, the new suppression and the missile code uh, are applying to base and to Super Mutants, and I think I've started rolling it into Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I 
If I haven't yet, I will. There we go. What? Who's there? some flanking going on. And it's another victory for the Raiders. Raiders are doing good today. I mean, the Gunners got some pretty good shots in with that rocket launcher. I'm not saying that they, that they didn't. But... Our Raiders are staying on top of it. So if we're gonna, if they're gonna be a little bit cocky, then we're going to. Hello, is someone present? Let's give them something to work with. My order of the institute to you must be destroyed. I haven't done much with Stiffy since in a while. Um, by the way, I've been doing a lot, of, a lot of optimizations in the AI scripts the last couple of weeks. Um, cleaning up the code, taking out things that don't work, streamlining the routines. So, if you're running 2.0, you really need to be updating with the latest. Um, they're not alpha versions, they're just cleaner versions of the last one. We haven't, been, we haven't really been in alpha in a long time. Sense don't panic. sense do is they get more aggressive when they get damaged unlike every other NPC and PA NPC uh, PA NPC the NPCs with PA with the, with the AI uh, generally they they get more conservative and tend to retreat when they take damage uh, sense do the opposite Terminator like in that way. Yeah, you're out. And yeah, that's a victory for Skynet. Let's do. I don't know how many synths we still have on the field, but since it's basically just a big game of rock, paper, scissors, uh, let's put a rock on the field.
you just throw Molotovs at each other. That sounds like a sound tactical maneuver. Sure, but I think that melee guy has to have the missile launcher. Uh, the missile men, if they're if they're too close to use the missile launcher, they'll either try to gain distance, but if they can't gain distance, they will switch to a melee. My friend, you got a problem. I'm sure the last man standing here. So far, we're doing, we're performing pretty well. Uh, so far, the only problem that I've seen is the missile AI is is doing a is doing an ambush, which they shouldn't be doing. But I'll, I'll fix that. Um. Okay, let's do one last test. Since. Get a little stupid here. Two missile crews up against three. You want to do three death claws? Let's do three death claws. Who's there? Yes, everybody loves a death claw fiasco. That's a victory for the gun. Uh, thanks to missile ears. Thanks to rocketeers. All right. I think that's where we're going to hang it up. This is a uh, test. This is going to be PAMPC 2.02. Still, like I said, still got a few things to fix. Nothing major. I think the only thing, uh, the only other significant thing that's going into 2.02 .02 is I'm making some changes to the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, just to keep them from doing things like ambushing and uh, it, it, until they've been in a combat. That should help in situations like the airship down quest where you have to infiltrate and get past them. Um, they're still going to notice things. and I mean, they're still going to be dangerous. They're still going to be checking things out, but they're not going to be just simply proactively stirring up stuff, which... As long as you're careful and you stay out of their patrol routes, you probably are going to be okay. But that's the other thing I'm changing for 2.02. <sighs> anyway, so that's where we're at right now. Optimization, missiles, suppression, and some Brotherhood of Steel stuff. That's going to come out. Hopefully, I should, I'm planning on having that out by Friday. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about, but that is not my department. Um, that is not PA and PC doing that. And, um, yeah, so yeah, if, if you're using 2.0, get over to Gresling Games Discord, uh, jump into the role requests, and I swear to God, that's not PA and PC doing that. Um, jump, in the role, jump in the role requests and ask for Citizen. Uh, that will get you access to the latest incremental channels, 
and you can grab 2.01 right now, or you can wait two more days and get 2.02, .02, and that's going to have all these fun things. Um, and that's where we're at. Uh, let's see, any other status going on? Uh, like I said, I'm working on, I'm still working on insult to injury. Uh, that's, I'm about halfway through getting a new version of that out. Uh, once I finish, I'm starting to run out of the easy optimizations for PA and PC, so pretty soon I'm going to be getting back to pace, and I'm happy about that. Pace needs some optimization, and that's like I said, it's all about making one side better and then putting it up against the other side, and, and we have the floating dancing gunner that is just kind of weird, but whatever works for him. And that's where we're at. Uh, if you're not a member of, of Gresin Games Discord, come on over. Uh, we're a friendly bunch. We've got a whole bunch of people and some a lot of names you'll recognize. And well, I think you'll enjoy it. So anyway, that's it. Hope you're having a good afternoon. And hope you're having a good week. And we'll catch up on the flip side. Take care of yourselves. Bye.